All right, if I'm looking at two different monitors, it's because this monitor has like the best face angle, but that's where the video is playing. But I can see both, so. The Kraken Pro. <laughs> I just realized there's Kraken Pro on the side. January 2020. The virus is spreading across the globe. The virus. <laughs> Sweet. And everyone was amped to start panicking. Oh my god. The virus TM is the virus. in your country, in your homes, in your cereal. Better not touch that door handle. Better not touch your face. Don't touch me. Breathe somewhere else, Vector. <laughs> Said. Oh, I suppose it is kind of cute though. No, I must resist. <laughs> Does anyone else feel like the air in here is kind of chunky how do i take my white cell count these ones all look red <laughs> dude so naturally rumors started to spread and the first one was about toilet paper. dude this shit was so yeah. scary i remember taking photos in my local um supermarket of this shit and then like australia's numbers were like minuscule do wait didn't we start doing this shit first in australia and then the rest of the world went boom i know for a fact internet historian is australian and I'm pretty sure we started the toilet. I'm so done. I heard that here in Australia, 90% of our toilet paper is produced in China. Maybe that means there'll be no new stock. So the public went out to grab an extra pack. Okay. Then the news stories started coming in about the lockdown. Oh, Fears yeah. realized. So they grabbed two packs. No one knew how long the lockdown would last either. Better grab three. Eh, four just in case. <laughs> and everyone had that same concern. Within the week, holy fuck! Look at look at this is Australian stocks, and that seeing this stuff here on the front is actually so rare. Are you a Woolies or a Col I I'm uh, I'm a Woolies man. And from there, it was self perpetuating. Yeah. Bathroom paper was suddenly the hottest commodity in town. One per person. Stations, stores, yep. Major yep. Chain supermarkets. It's crazy. Was and the next thing was, I don't know if he's gonna touch on it. Um. It wasn't just hand sand. People were coming into the service station where I was working because I was working when this first started and like heaps at the server. Now, not so much. Methylated spirits. People were making their own hand sand. Some lady came in and bought four bottles. I'm like, what the fuck? Then, of course, photos shared on social media and broadcast on television. Made worse. Shelves just amplified the hysteria again. Yeah. I just want one pack. To which the media said, <laughs> don't buy it. But also, it is running out, but don't stock up. But who knows when new stock is coming, but don't you hoard. But it may be many weeks before you can get more. The messaging to the public was a little mixed. You're saying to Dude, the nation this morning, Ali, stay calm, don't go and do it. But race out there and get it so that you're not... Then, as stock completely depleted, people were becoming desperate. Every store I go to, every day, every city, and every hour of every day, you're going to find completely empty shelves. Yeah, it was crazy. Broke out ...between those who had none and those who had too much. It was chaos in the aisles. Dude. Round one. That's, I've ne I've saw fights. Yeah, no, this is at Woolies. This is Australian. Pretty sure that was in um. The Australian toilet roll crisis had reached. <laughs> People were threatening. That's hilarious. I didn't see that. Someone even pulled a knife. Is it not? Yeah. No, it was insane. Enough. The CEO of Australia came out and said, <laughs> it's been one of the most disappointing things I've seen in Australian behaviour in response to Stop crisis. it. Stop but it. That scolding did little to quell the frenzy. Kobe! <laughs> so, the media published articles informing people that actually this is all fake news, and 60% of Australia's toilet paper is produced domestically. But that also didn't quell the frenzy. Nothing did. So, supermarkets enacted a one-pack per person rule. But frenzies cannot be quelled. And so actually, that's, that's an American photo. It was not that bad. Amazon, eBay, Gumtree, toilet paper was everywhere. A funny story is also, um, I heard that someone had an illegal, like, hoard of it. $10,000 worth of hand sanitizer and uh, toilet paper. And by the time he got it all hoarded and he was ready to resell it, the stocks hit the shelves and he was sitting on a fucking gold mine of toilet paper hand sand that he couldn't sell. <laughs> First for double the price. Then triple. Then things just went wild. Ten packs, single rolls, a few pieces of three ply, 
all for crazy prices. <laughs> People went from selling it by the pack to selling it by the gram. A number two lord. And the rest of us who couldn't afford it had to get creative. Dude, someone's selling TP in the boot of their car. That's crazy. <laughs> what a hero. Newspapers swooped in with a special edition to save the day. It featured eight blank pages at the back, just in case. By the way, this was after an Australian family had accidentally made a massive online order. They thought they were getting 48 rolls. Wrong. They were getting 48 boxes, and soon they had become the de facto royalty of Australia. They built a throne with the boxes and sat aloft it. <laughs> I found the crown of Australia in the gutter, he said, <laughs> and I picked it up. But for the rest of us common folk, thievery was the only answer. We began stealing from public toilets. Yeah, that we was crazy. Stealing from work. Yep. That's crazy. Aussies has stolen toilet paper from work to use at home. Some started stealing from hotels, stealing <laughs> from cars, Whoa. stealing from the blind. <laughs> I didn't hear about the car. It's a pretty good meme. Though. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. And just as some relief was coming, oh, thank God a new shipment. But that truck burned down. Oh, Fire what? Fire crews rescued what rolls they could. The rest left charred and soggy. Fascinatingly, a problem which began... I didn't know half of this shit. ...Australia was soon spreading to the rest of the world, despite the circumstances being completely different. <laughs> yeah, in we... Fact, stats time. In most countries, the majority of toilet paper is actually produced locally. Yeah, I love... The, I almost respect the fact we started the cr toilet paper craze. I'm just saying, Australians, trendsetters. <laughs> Let's go. Toilet paper is cheap but bulky, meaning it's expensive to ship relative to its retail value. So domestic producers are often able to manufacture at a cost lower than their international competitors. Mm -hmm. That just makes sense. Unless the factories in your country shut down, there isn't going to be a shortage. But shut up and panic. No. And so toilet paper <laughs> became a highly profitable business. And that's when organized criminal gangs moved in. Armed robbers in Hong Kong held a delivery driver at knife point and got away with around 600 rolls. 18,000 pounds of toilet paper was stolen from I like the how they're... Oh, pounds. And this, and, and this. Money. And this. And many more. But it's time to move on. There were so many. four weeks with consumption steady and everyone only having one asked why. And supply increasing to compensate. Toilet paper returned to shelves. The balance was restoring. The shops... We're here. <laughs> Which meant it was time to panic about something else. Where's the hand sanitizer? 5G. Oh no. 5G time. So was there. It's a virus. See, I got onto the band. Okay. He's drinking. Cor Did you hear Corona? No. There's like, there's a photo of like alcohol being completely sold out in America, but there was like a whole pallet of um fucking Corona just sitting there because no one wanted it because. It's got the word. And it's funny because when Corona first came out, everyone was saying Corona, but then it turned into um, COVID-19. Everyone says COVID now. It's so weird. That's cute. Let me fill you in on the scoop, rookie. See that tower over there? Now look at this. Coincidence? <laughs> five Gs, five fingers, five sides to a pentagram. PlayStation 5. Awful lot of coincidences lining up, wouldn't you say? <laughs> and social media agreed. With these indisputable facts such as, I have headache, it was only inevitable that the word would spread like a wildfire. It was time for the 5G squad to leap into action. 5G squad! Uh, Gwyneth Paltrow, that lady from that movie, Alien. People began protesting the 5G towers. Save lives! Yeah, and the destruction was extensive. Oh my I no idea god. Really I started digging. Yeah. In the UK, 
77 in UK. Reported by April, 39 servicing engineers had been attacked on the job. What you know the when fuck? they turn this on, it's going to kill everyone, and that's why they're building the hospitals? In North Carolina, <laughs> one woman just started opening fire on a couple of technicians. <laughs> there were two workers up on the tower when the shots rang out. A third worker on the ground ran up into this area. <laughs> and that's where he called for help. The two men I love came. America. When police came. She armed herself with two axes and barricaded herself in her own. <laughs> Did you shoot at a cell tower worker, ma'am? She's out on bond and she's had the weapons confiscated. New 5G. Stimulate your senses. In Auckland, New Zealand, at least a dozen 5Gs have been vandalized or set ablaze. Mysterious fires have hit 15 Mysterious cell towers fires. in the last six weeks. Sucks. In the Netherlands, 16. Reports of more in Ireland, Cyprus and Belgium. Counter-terrorist police are getting involved in Australia. I never saw this shit. In Montreal, Canada. Although, one big problem. How do you tell 5G from the regular Gs? You strap yourself in and feel the Gs! Well, <laughs> it's not actually that easy for the untrained eye. Most of the destroyed towers were actually yeah, just regular know. ones, carrying essential 2 to 4G network infrastructure, causing outages for emergency services and the public. Naturally, YouTube and Facebook started cracking down on the 5G conspiracy groups and banning everyone, and the movement has gone somewhat underground. Yeah. Oh my god, they're in on it. <laughs> Alongside false causes. What else could they talk about? Healers. No vaccine yet? No problem. Here's a list of placebos that'll get you patched up. High dose infusions of vitamin C, silver solution, touching your TV, kissing a shrine, spiritual vaccines, plant sap in the eye, special mattress, cow urine, cow dung, camel urine, a cotton ball soaked in violet oil in the anus. Miracle mineral solution, drinking fish tank, I wanna cleaner, eating fruit that looks say like something. the virus, treatment packs, toothpaste, the biocharger NG, subtle energy Ooh. platform TM, vegetarianism, virus shutout protection pendants, healthy living, radionics machine, schwang schwingling ganglion, injecting house cleaner, hand cream, garlic, bananas, alcohol, water, ginger, lemon, mangoes, durian, onions, it's everything. Everything and anything is apparently a cure. True. And also, um, Lorna Jane came out with an anti-COVID line, which got shut down, like, really quick. But, I mean, it's so funny. Um, yeah, well, I mean, so they got fined. Some of them got fined. But who needs cures? I've got something better. Add time. Soon. And she's had the weapons confiscated. New 5G. Stimulate your sense. She did. She could access... Sorry, I accidentally pressed a button on my mouse. Soon we will be together. They are ready for you, Mr. VPN. Welcome back. Today we're looking at NordVPN. Dude, his ads are the best, honestly. Around, everyone. everyone tries She's to copy girlfriend. his ads because well, they're actually good. She's my girlfriend, but I'm not her boyfriend. It's complicated. Point is, she doesn't use NordVPN. If she did, she could access international catalogs from her favorite streaming services. Oh shit, get down. Now let's pretend that this window is her computer security. Look how easily I can just snatch up all their data. Ho oh, ho, jackpot. If she had used NordVPN, we wouldn't be looking at all her personal photos. <laughs> hey, look at this one. Oh shit, we're busted. Everyone, cheese it. Oh, nice. Now imagine this is you. And imagine this was a three-year plan with 70% off as a three extra month. <laughs> he won't stop. I need to buy tickets and leave the country. Oh no. No, not again. Public Wi Fi isn't safe. Encrypt your browser with your VPN. Taxi E. No sweat. I can see from her browsing history that she is going to Japan. Finally. Some peace. There's no way he can find me here in Japan. Really? An Airbnb's Wi-Fi? Don't you know how dangerous that is? Also, there's access to international content. How did he find me? No, oh, 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 oh. They're biting me, help. Ah, snake pit. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? <laughs> This wouldn't have happened if you had used NordVPN. What is happening? The 
the lockdown had some interesting carryovers on the agricultural okay sector. i'm so confused but anyway let's just keep watching sexy topic oh i lost of food supply oh. you can roughly break goods into two wait the food supply was fine wasn't it well at least in australia i don't know how it was in america categories commercial and retail with all the rest prices went up for me shut down the commercial side came to a grinding halt half of the stock had nowhere to go maybe Meow. we could just send it to the supermarkets <laughs> no can do you have to repackage process and deliver all of that stuff before the new expiration date and with a limited workforce then you'd have to get the supermarkets to agree to take all that extra stock and meanwhile people aren't going to simply buy twice as many groceries so either it rots on the shelves or the price drops below cost what's the point Cheap meat. so there's a big surplus the supply chain had broken by week one of the lockdown oh. farmers all around the country are looking at their billions of dollars of quickly expiring crop with no one to take it yeah back. crap and they know okay. that next week they'll have doubled that amount sandra uh how many eggs do we eat a week i don't know probably 10 why hmm that means our leftovers are going to be about three quarters of a million eggs. Well, I don't want 750,000 chickens. I guess there's <laughs> only one thing to do. So the farmers began neutralizing their crops. Target neutralized. It was a slaughter. Oh, my cabbages! Millions of pounds <laughs> of onions were buried alive in Idaho. Farmers Holy stopped shit. making grain and started making donuts. This is, seems to be all American, right? Donuts on their tractors all over the field, turning everything to compost. Cabbages were being ravaged. The potatoes weren't being atoed. Holy so, fuck, that's one or two potatoes. Climate. Squash were being compressed. Into the dairy farmers of America estimated that getting three squashed? million gallons of milk were being dumped every day. That would smell oh, so bad. <laughs> but once the farmers had destroyed their crops, of course, they had to immediately plant new ones because demand could come back and you wouldn't want to get caught a whole crop cycle behind the market. So the cycle would repeat and repeat and repeat until everything returned to normal. Which took like six months. Dude, I something I want to touch on. If Skype wasn't fucked by Microsoft so badly, the Zoom came and kind of came out of nowhere, honestly. I mean, it was low-key. If Skype was usable, this was going to be their best big time to get back on top but like they just kind of weren't zoom so everyone was locked in their houses but work school and life had to carry on what's nine plus ten and that's where zoom came in simple to use able to host up to a hundred people per meeting millions moved over to zoom and it skyrocketed to number one in the app store it's insane companies and educational institutions all jumped on the zoom train too why not it was so easy. All you needed was the room key. Even the boomers could use it. Can you see my dog? Tee oh. Look, I can change the background. Oh my god, did he fall? These are some of my friends from high school. Okay. Okay, everyone, I'll see you on Wednesday. The <laughs> new one used to have his camera pointed at them for long periods. Don't. Some even forgot they were being watched. Oh, that would be so awkward. I'm guessing this is a school... Wait, going off the age of these people, it's probably a uni meeting, but this dude's about to do it. Girl on... Oh, it's a girl. Oh, no. Or didn't know that the camera had turned on at all. And then someone had a brilliant idea. What if I just published this room key online? I thought this was fucked up. That's a no. Dude, I've been in this thing for a while. No one said anything. Hi, uh, Mr. Knob. Are you joining at us? Do you have a breastfeeding question? <laughs> Am I bugging? We're fucking Mary dead right now, bro. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> And what if I gave it to one of my favorite online... Look, no, this was, this kind of fucked me up. That was hilarious. The, uh, I, I was kind of like, dude, teachers are just doing this shit. But like, some were funny, some were cringe. Creators. 
perhaps some of the greatest live stream content <laughs> to ever grace this humble platform. <laughs> Take out your number two pencils. It's time to learn. Who is this? <laughs> I am uh, Asha Chamya from Wuhan Tittel, the University. Too mad. Who let you in? Hey guys, this is uh, Chris. Hey guys, this is Joe Nutt. Are you in my class? Yes, I have transfer student. <laughs> <laughs> A transfer student from. Where do you say? <laughs> so, what are we learning today? <laughs> Does anyone uh, want to tell me I come to class late? And no one wants to tell me why? <laughs> why? Tell me reason! You're in the wrong, uh, you're in the wrong uh, section there, brother. <laughs> I'm part of Zoom. I'm an employee of Zoom. Uh -huh. You're gonna have to press Alt and F4 at the same time on your keyboard to fix your room because it's currently public. I don't do that. I don't do that. Okay. Um, you guys didn't start the next revolution in America. We hope. I mean, we could definitely use one. Rabbi Dusha. Exactly. I like the sound of that. <laughs> Hunter, Hunter, let me in. Hunter, Hunter, why did you do this? Yes, it was. Don't, not just don't, don't do that with your head. No, you did. Who are you? What do you mean? Who am I? I'm over there, bro, bro. I'm your dad, bro, 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 and you let me through the gate. <laughs> Who the heck is it? Oh my god, what the <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there is a realistic way where they could do anything about it. What's 2 plus 4? Uh, 2 plus... Hmm? 21. Alright, I'm gonna wrap up this, this thoughts about Natalie's story. What the shit did you What the shit did you do? What the shit did you History class. Oh, hell yeah. And he's lost an election twice. <laughs> he, um... He's, um, <laughs> uh, he's like so confused. He saw the cock and he was like, what? Okay. So I'm just going to talk about it now. Hey, thanks for following us. You guys can open up the <laughs> cock if you want. Robert, take that off your screen. <laughs> Robert! Robert's going to get some trouble! Robert's probably in his room right now, just fucking freaking out. It's like, it's not me. I'm Robert, baby. Robert, how could you? <laughs> but then they had a whole bunch of controversies, and a number of schools and companies stopped using the platform. Yeah. Rip. Even though the stock price keeps going up. Man, that's hilarious. See, the thing that I had a problem with, it was those content creators that... I mean, he kind of did it funny, like, and I can't n not laugh at it because it's fucking funny. But it's like these boomer teachers who are just, like, not getting paid, working giga overtime, and then there's just these kids coming in just going, eh, me from. <laughs> it's just these poor fucking people. They're like, I'm sick of this shit. I get paid enough of this. I'm surprised they didn't just let classes go to shit. With people locked in their homes, nature was allowed to return to the unoccupied streets. The healing had begun. <gasps> Real happy world. <gasps> Satellite imagery showed pollution levels dropping everywhere. The it's canals crazy. of Venice were changing from their usual feculent brown to a vibrant blue as boats were docked and silt could resettle. From their windows, residents could see fish, algae, and other sea life return to the waters. But that wasn't all. Animals saw the free real estate and began migrating into the cities and towns. Goat. Sheep and whales took back the town and ruled over it with an iron hoof. Hungry monkeys in Thailand took to the city square as the tourists who usually yeah, I saw this. disappeared. Giant ducks were seen in London. Alligators in Florida were once again using the Like road. the monkeys, apparently they came out because like all the tourists were going to the monkey resorts, like usual, and like feeding them fucking free peanuts. No peanuts. Monkey go crazy. Monkey go boom boom. So they went and they literally took over cities. They're like, oh, I need my fucking peanuts, dude. Rats in New Orleans were... No, that's normal. Otters in Singapore. Oh my god. That's Are pretty cool. Are we the virus? Human beings are disease. That is profound. Dude, dude. 
Maybe we will the real corona all alone. Nature returned to New York for the first time since it was established in 65 million BC. We even had a good fake out on an extinct species, the Malabar civet, which hasn't been seen for 30 years. Oh my god. Although it turns out it was just a regular, sick Indian civet. <laughs> Scoopers were returning to the riverways. Nilgai? Never heard of that. Cows had begun returning Ooh. to the ocean. Cats was seen by some in London to a limited audience. Sambar were incorrectly using zebra crossing. If cats released at like not corona time, do you think it would have done okay? Or would it still be shit? Cause like they wouldn't have rushed it. It would have been like a little extra time to polish. Do you think it would have been fine? No, it's too shit. <laughs> and giraffes had returned to the city. Nature is healing. Namaste. Is that man smoking? Like, from his paws? Anyway, I'm busy. That's the lesson. Here's a multi-tool. Good luck out there. Please close the door behind you. Thank you. Goodbye. No, that's the video? Oh my god. Is this... Mars? This is one hell of a twist. I know, right? Oh my god, it's Elon Musk. Yes, a double twist. Welcome home. Holy S shit. A 13. Oh my god, it's a triple twist. Directed by M. Not Video Shyamalan. over. The next one's almost done. Give me two weeks. Have you heard of incognito mode? It's basically the main channel now. New video every month <coughs> there too. Look at this production quality. Keep track of video progress on Trello. Thank you, patient patrons. Thank you, NordVPN man. Thank you, editing team. Thank you, Obama, for guest VOing. Thank you, Neil Druckmann, for the worst sequel since World War II. And thank oh. you for watching. Oh, that was a big shot at the last of us, too, man. Holy shit. Good, good video, man. Really good video. I, dude, I like that a lot. Uh, he did pretty good, dude. He did pretty good. I liked how he called it the Vars. But yeah, if you guys don't know, the Internet Historian is actually Australian. So it's it's interesting to see uh, his perspective or another Australian's perspective on the whole thing. Um, like I said, um, this will be going up on the YouTube channel. I'm going to um, be making my second YouTube channel uh, by the alt account. I don't know, whatever. I'm going to turn that into like a React Andy content channel. Instead of putting any React Andy content on my main, I'll just put it onto this one instead. 